Hello, my name is Faisal Khan. I am a banking and a payment consultant. Today we're going to talk about you know, how much does RAS cost? RAS being remittance as a service. There are many plans for it and there's probably a plan that might just fit your requirement. However, there is a certain barrier to entry. There is a basic price that you have to meet. Uh, the plans vary from region to region. North America has different pricing from Canada, different pricing for uh, USA, there's a different price for UK only, there's a different price for EU, uh, you can have worldwide coverage uh, you know, for uh, North America, UK, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, etc. Typically, expect to pay a one-time fee anywhere from $5,000 at the very minimum. $10,000 as an average to as high as $25,000 per territory. Territory could be US, could be Canada, could be EU. That's the one-time fee that you will pay to the principal license holder that is putting or structuring the entire RAS deal for you. The monthly minimum can vary. It can be as low as $1,500. The median is about $2,500 to $3,000 and the high can go between five dollars and $7,000. It can even be much higher if you were to only insist on tier one banks like Citi or Deutsche, etc. Those arrangements are much, much more expensive. On the tr transaction fees, expect to pay between $0.25, $0.30, cents, $0.40 cents on the low side, $0.50 cents as an average one dollar as the high and on the volume fee you are expecting to pay anywhere from 35 40 basis points on the low side 50 to 60 basis points on the middle and as high as 80 or 90 maybe even one percent 80 90 basis points is a little high but but in certain cases for certain corridors that may just be the base price setting it up as a broker i charge anywhere from 20 to dollars to do this per territory per region and you know if this is something that you know you are thinking about these are the costs that you need to take into consideration there is one other cost you need to take into consideration well two other actually one is uh, the cost of pre-funding you need to pre-fund uh, so you may be looking at twenty five thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars per beneficiary country uh, typically in a RAS arrangement you are allowed up to three or four or five beneficiary countries if you want to fund all five expect twenty five thousand dollars times five one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars is expected of you and then the RAS provider would also like to see your marketing budget so you need to budget up for that maybe two three five thousand dollars per month uh, in your marketing efforts and those are some of the numbers in a very rough way that uh, you know, you may want to know as far as RAS pricing is concerned. Be forewarned, it is dependent on the territories that you're looking at, it is dependent on the corridors, it is dependent on the length of the contract, it is dependent on many, many other factors as to who is willing to provide you regulatory coverage, who is willing to come as the sponsoring license holder to say, listen, I want to, I want to do work with this guy. But, uh, but typically, I've given you the price between 5000 to 10000 in one-time fees, between 1500 to 3500 monthly fees, with 2500 being the average, and between 35, 45 basis points on the low side, 80, 90 basis points on the high side, 50 to 60 basis points on an average, and you know $20,000 for putting it together. That is the price for RAS. If you have any more questions or comments, feel free to ask below. I have also linked into the previous video I made for what is remittance as a service in case you don't know what I'm talking about. That is also in the description below. Till next time, have a good one. Speak later.